Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. A listener production. Good morning, I'm Lee Jollo and this is your Limestone Coast Local News. Partly cloudy across the region today, we're heading for tops of 14 in Mount Gambier and Narracourt. Fresh concern South Australia doesn't have enough police. The feasibility study for radiation therapy services on the Limestone Coast should start soon and police searching for a stolen ute. Yes, we need another 210 police officers in South Australia. That's the word from Police Commissioner Grant Stevens. And this has stemmed from a downturn in um, recruit applications and uh, an increase in our attrition rate. So you know, we do certainly have a challenge ahead of us. The state government claims its feasibility study for radiation therapy services should get underway soon. And that's welcome news to the ears of Lachlan Haynes from the Limestone Coast Working Group on Radiation Therapy. Health Minister Chris Picton says the tender for cancer care centre upgrade works won't be commenced until such a study is done. Meantime, Lachlan reckons there's also more welcome news. It's good to hear from the Minister that he has absolutely guaranteed that while the feasibility study is going on, the $4.3 million in federal funding has been quarantined. So that's, that's an announcement we really do uh, embrace. Have you seen a missing ute? It's hard to miss. The white 2022 Dodge Ram was taken from Casterton between 9.30 and 10am on Saturday and last seen heading towards Mount Gambia. Rego is BYQ176. Call police or Crime Stoppers with any more information. Securing funding for the Mount Gambia Sale Yards project will be critical for its future. That's according to Federal Member for Barker, Tony Passon. He's recently met with the District Council of Grant to help them with the project application as they look to try their luck with the new Growing Regions Fund. The reality is the current infrastructure at the Mount Gambia Sale Yards is ageing and if we want to remain competitive, if we want to reach our agricultural potential in the southeast, we need this upgrade and so I'm hopeful that the Federal Government will see themselves clear to support this project. Don't eat mushrooms you've picked yourself. That's the warning from SA Health after the recent deaths in Victoria from suspected mushroom poisoning. Over 300 South Aussies have needed hospital treatment in the last decade from eating wild mushrooms. And this National Science Week, it's been revealed that 90% of Aussies want more people and businesses to defend science. CEO of Science and Technology Australia, Misha Schubert, says 88% also believe science improves our lives. Well, I think Australians really appreciate through the lived experience of the COVID pandemic and the rapid uptick in the ways in which we're feeling the effects of climate change, how important science is to our lives. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max taste challenge. Let's look at some sport now and results are in the book for round 15 in the Western Border Football League. The top of the table clash is the one we're all talking about with Millicent going down to West Gambia. The Roos were slow out of the gate but swung into gear in the third term, kicking three goals to none in the low scoring thriller. Final score 42 to 39, seeing them move to the top of the ladder. Meantime, North Gambia have prevailed over Casterton Sanford, another close one with just nine points in it. And at Blue Lake, South Gambia were too strong for East Gambia, getting it done by 31. And for the latest local news throughout the day, download the Listener app. BP Plus. Do business the clever way. Visit bpplus.com.au to find out more.